PC Gamers, I'm Pemby66 and this tutorial is all about recording your gameplay. Okay, now when when you record your gameplay, right, it's it's, it's pretty satisfying to be, to have been able to record, you know, those fine moments in your games. But if you've got a place, if you've got a PlayStation Three like me, you you, you just wish you could um, capture in HDMI. So, but like in my case, I use this program, the Rocio HD Pro. A very unreliable piece of software I've got to say and so many times I've clicked capture there and nothing's happened of course my PlayStation PlayStation 3 at the moment is broadcasting 720p resolution and HDMI so look at look what it says here it's not protected you can't do shit you can't live stream can't capture it so I'm thinking if you can't capture it especially but is it, I mean, that look, I'm sorry, it's not just a picture. Let's move me pad a bit. It, see, that's, I mean, that picture breakup, I think that's something to do with my particular capture card and the software. I don't know. And it doesn't, I don't think it has to be a Roxio game capture pro, HD pro. You can use maybe the Elgato or the um, Hupog 2, the gaming edition 2, whatever, you know. As long as it's a HD capture device, it's 720p. I'm thinking, well, how tantalising is that? I can see that I can see the thing. Why don't I get a screen recorder to record that screen? You know, put a rectangle over here, but it still won't be that high in quality. So, I got hold of this program. This is what this tutorial is about. It's called Bandicam. Okay. Now, when you click on target. You have to, in order to record your screen to do a tutorial like this, you have to click on rectangle on the screen, and then and select full screen, like I'm, like you, like you can see. But if I was to record that video signal, I'm not talking about that picture. I'm not. If I made that bigger, make it bigger. You know, if I record that, it's not recording the screen. It's actually recording the video signal for you in place of this this software um if i was that's that's only if i, I, I clicked on that if i if i clicked on directx forward stroke opengl window it will record that image the whole you know say if you've got a game running it will record it right. the difference is it, it will record the signal protected hdmi signal you don't have to change it back to component for this Bandicam software to record it. All right. Now let's go to the video tab, and you have these codecs. Let's start with size. You start with size 1280 by 720, 60 frames a second, which is the more logical for me. You might even get away with 30 frames, but I I go 60 frames because you know it's a, it's just in case me there's any slowdown with my computer. But these are your codecs. You got your MPEG-1, Motion JPEG, XVID, y YV12, and RGB24. For, for the purpose of the demonstration, I'm using RGB24 because I know that I'm going to edit this in Sony Vegas, and there will be, you know, data lost. Quality won't be lost, you know, from what you're seeing. And I'll probably put um, a, a, a demonstration video on the end to show you. The, the quality of you know the recordings uh, your audio you have to stereo of course 48,000 you can get away with 41,000 but I'm, I always go the highest I can go I found MPEG 112 won't be recognized in Sony Vegas all right um, click OK now uh, where did it? That, yeah click on this one go to set oh, let's, let's go back Go to your video and then go to this settings tab and it gives the sound. Record sound obviously. Windows 7 sound and your say like I'm using an iToy, PlayStation 3 iToy, but most people use a real good microphone, so you just make sure that that's selected. Now do sound mixing in one audio track. That's what I'm doing now, but if you untick that, it records your game audio and your audio for your 
thus what you find when you record this way is you're recording your commentary while you're playing the game live your commentary is not in time with the actual finished video because this run this runs at you know at a delay there's lag basically right? so if you're intending to edit it within sony vegas you can just move your audio track of your voice forward a bit so it's more in time with the action on screen do you know what i'm saying but the purpose of doing this tutorial i've just got them both into one because it doesn't matter but uh, as you'll see in the in the, in the the uh, demonstration of the, the quality of the recording you know it's worth doing some recordings especially really good critical games like crisis 2 and 3 or battlefield 3 you know it, or far cry 3 you know games with god graphics uncharted things like that you know you really see the difference oh, another one thing i want to mention notice the quality is set quite high on this but if i click on options and this is probably the same with a lot of capture cards. Video bitrate showing fifteen thousand. Now you will, you cannot go above that. You can, you can go below it certainly, but then your quality is going to suffer. But that's all your capture card software can offer you. Even if I could capture this HDMI signal, that is what you get: fifteen thousand kilobytes a second. Now I'll give you an example. Of, um, just one second. I'll give an example a video I recorded with this codec I'm using when it decides to open come on do you need a kick up the ass or what get up thank you there you go now this one sudden impact is from crisis 2 we're going to see in a little in a short while you know it's 64.2 gigabytes and it's 20 minutes long just over 20 minutes long if I right click the properties come on sign today properties right it's 64.2 gigabytes a second right go to details right it's 21 minutes two seconds long the frame size look at the size of the data rate that's your bit rate total bit rate 436,000 kilobytes a second if somebody something records that much you're going to have a lot of da data being recorded basically get a high quality lossless image so a big difference between that and 15,000 kilobytes a second. So if you think your recordings look good with your capture card, then think again. They look anywhere near as good as using this method I'm using here. Right, so basically, that is recording with Bandicam, your PlayStation 3 in HDMI. Right, I, I couldn't recommend it highly enough. If you're really a stickler about good graphics, you will see that gameplays from games like crisis 2 or whatever which you're going to see i've used that because it really demonstrates beautiful graphics on any platform you'll see that the consoles of today are not that far behind the pc i'm not saying the pc you know i'm not saying they're better than the pc they'll never be they're not but they're considerably better than what you're probably used to normally seeing on youtube anyway here's some examples and uh I'll catch you later. Okay, guys, I hope you understood all that and you took it all in because I thoroughly recommend this as an alternative to using your capture card software to capture, especially when you want to record HDMI. Okay, I'm Pembis D6. I'm out of here. Profit, you need to lower the bridge to access the walkway. I'll bring the lift down when you make it. There we go. So I should have run in the first place. Alright, I'm bringing the lift case down. <coughs> There's still a way to go. It's a decent powerful gun, this. And look at this, the detail that I'm picking up here, what's playing it, you know, from HDMI. I'm sure you highlight the enemy. Look at this. 
Have you ever seen Crisis 2 look this good on a console? The only thing is I'm, I'm having issues with the video signal being all broken up when I'm trying to record, you know, and it's Firing. just fucked up basically. Right, let's have a look at that shit. I like looking at this scene, look at this. Some come through the building. Whoa! Spectacular. Look at that. that. You see that? Look at the detail in the graphics. You can keep your Frostbite you 2 engine, like you can keep your Unreal right. Engine. Crane Engine 3 for me is, is the it? best thing I've ever We're seen on a console. It's probably the best this. thing you'll see on a PC we'll get as well. No. Get them to me here at the lab. This could be our best shot at rolling back the spores. This is you know, the whole PS3 even. gameplay recording HDMI, not with capture card software, but with the capture card. Playing its part at least, you Watch know. Your ass, prophet. Sorry, I'm not really. I'm not normally this destructive. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. This is Pemby66 signing off.